everybody, welcome back. Um, on this episode, it's it's gonna be on something a little different, guys. Um, we've got these little half pint jars. Okay. Now we did do one. It was more or less of an experiment than anything. But this is what we got right here. Okay. We used Miss Robin Hood. We, we got some brown, uh, a whole case of brown gravy. We had uh, 30, 36 packs, I think, in the whole case that we bought. Now, they were only uh, 39 cents a pack. One of these. We got this at our local Aldi's. Okay, guys. Um, again, brown gravy. It's a brown gravy mix. Okay. We got five packs five packs of brown gravy okay it same concept applies you know to what it is how many packs and the date that it was done but we had uh we tried it out the brown gravy it was actually really good on some mashed potatoes now this is another good resource okay guys egg noodles and gravy oh, exactly Egg noodles, gravy, you can throw some beef tips in to make it a little bit of stroganoff if you wanted to. Um, you can throw it on bread, even. Even if you make, you know, homemade bread. You can throw it on some bread. There you go. You got a stick to your ribs meal. Good enough for nutrition. Um, but at first, me and Ms. Robin Hood thought, you know, it wasn't going to be very much. Uh, so one uh, just the other night, last night actually, not last night. Uh, yeah, last night. No, last night it was. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was, it was last, last night. night. Yeah. Okay, sorry, it was last night. Because the the thing on here is is one cup of water and one packet of this. Well. In the serving size, it's one tablespoon mixed, all ready to go, and it serves about four. So we were like, "Well, you know, we're gravy people around here, so we like our gravy, you know, oozing off the side of you, mashed potatoes, running into your next food, you know, stuff like that." Well, we did ten packs, and we got us a good slew of gravy. Still got a lot left over too. So, in essence, pretty much cut what we did make in half, five packs, hence the whole thing of five packs in a, in a jar. Well, we decided we was going to, she decided she was going to start throwing them in some jars. Well, we're going to cut back on the jar part, that way we got some gravy that we can actually mix and make for suppers and some gravies to put up well we're going to do six jars well including in, six nights including this one will be seven jars but instead of the machine we're going to be using the manual pump one the one that was only like 10 bucks which by the way does really well <laughs> so this is really really well but we're going to use this instead of the, the machine because this is a finer powder and we really would rather not mess up our machine mess up our machine that has been you know that does our meat as well when we're able to get it so we're just going to use the manual pump anywhere between 5 to 10 pumps seal it and send it on its way. Now the next thing we would, we're going to show you after we get this done is the end result of the brown gravy plus the next thing that we kind of did. She did a, a quick experiment on. Um, it was it, it was one of those look see what you get type deals. Um, I'll show you that after she gets that done. Um, real quick, we're going to show you what that's the, the manual pumps about. Make sure you can see that in, 
Uh, yep, okay. I don't know why there's always one job. Always. There's always one guard that doesn't want to cooperate. Everybody should know that. Everybody's always one jar. Can you get that? Yep, okay. And then you look, see? There it is. There it is, everybody. Look at that. There it is. I don't know if you can hear it. That's what you get without. That's what you get with. All right, y'all. We're going to seal these up real quick. And we'll be right back. And let you see the end result of brown gravy. All right, guys. Welcome back. Uh, end result of brown gravy. Really good, by the way. Is, again, brown gravy. What it is. How many? Five packs. And today's date, which is for 2023, we got seven jars out of it. Now, on this note right here, guys, you don't, you can still make gravy homemade if you'd like. It's up to you. Um, this is just a, a for people who, you know, are in the elderly age and they don't have the strength and the arm you know to you know sit there and, and and make gravy sit there and do this for 15 20 minutes at a time you know and keep and continue going it take up to 20 30 minutes before you can actually get densitized gravy so this is something a little bit easier and the only thing you got to do is you just have a Mr. Robin Hood away here Cleaning up our little gravy mess. We got it in the it uh, relaxed, that's for sure. It'll be alright, it'll fold when we that's the next thing I want to show them. I know we're not gonna probably do anymore, but but some people just don't can't do it. And this this here all it takes is a cup of water and and uh one packet of gravy now if it you don't have to do five packs in you know in a jar you can get a smaller jar if you like if it's just you and you know somebody else and that's it we kind of have a bigger family you can get this size jar right here which is a quarter pint now the only reason why we did these jars is because we have a kind of a bigger family um but if it's just you and and your significant other, then by all means, go smaller. Don't have to get as much. Okay, guys. Um, but it's a good thing to have. Um, it, it takes I don't know, maybe maybe just a few minutes to make. Um, all you gotta do is wait for it to come to a boil and reduce heat for one minute. That's it. I mean, again, if you're doing it, put your instructions in there. That way it's easier to, to understand and to know what to do. Okay, guys. Um, the next thing that I'm going to show you, I don't know if we're going to do any more. We might skip over to you. Do a couple of jars with banana chips, maybe. Don't know yet. Um, we're gonna kind of we got we started that with the trail mix and stuff like that So we might try that but the next thing I want to show you just real quick. We use this to put on uh, Chicken and pork chops and stuff like that is Little ranch you can do it for salad dressing and, and different recipes, but we use it for seasoning on pork chops uh, Chicken and stuff like that but again, we took, we normally use two packets of these because they're, you know, they got a lot of ranch in it. After you kind of push it down, you know, you got about a half a packet of ranch in there. But that's compacted down. That's two packs in there. So we normally use the two, two of these packs right here. So that's what Ms. Robin Hood did. But what it was, ranch season. Two packs, pretty much two, 
in the date that we did it okay and we used the quarter pint jars the smaller jars can't you tell it's half the half pints pretty much so it's a quarter pint fit perfect put everything in there we know we know how to use it so we don't need instruction the only thing we do is we take the packet and we kind of spread it out on the chicken then we take a little you know like a mm, basting brush and we just kind of spread it out on the chicken make it you know spread this whole thing of the chicken the whole circumference of chicken we got one out of it um again we had 36 packs give or take we used 10 of them last night which was really good on the mashed potatoes um found out we didn't need that many <laughs> we us. didn't we didn't need 10 packs of gravy because we had a big a uh, big pan full so we kind of decided hey we're going to cut it in half and then put it in some jars just to see how five packs would fit in the jar and it did it fit perfect so now we've got seven nights right here seven nights of gravy so pretty much got a week of gravy if we so choose to um we still got some packets of gravy left over but those these were we're literally going to put these up and not use these unless we really have to um we got about four or five nights over there still in the box that we got um but it looks like miss robin hood is going to do the ranch packets next so this is what we're doing next the ranch ranch seasoning um, now that we know that these will work for that, we're going to go ahead and do that and we'll come back and let you guys see what we got. We got, looks like again, seven jars worth. So we're going to do seven jars worth of ranch packets and we'll be right back. Alright guys, welcome back real quick. The end result of the quarter pint ranch again we've got plenty over there to do some pretty good seasonings with um miss robin hood's wanting to wipe up the table again so she's gonna do that real quick um again seven jars we got we did not uh, experiment with one so she ended up doing seven putting six on on the top of that um but we got plenty over there to do seasoning with again we season chicken we season pork chops um haven't tried it on beef yet i don't know what that would be taste what that would taste like probably be pretty good um but you know, i'm not too sure what we're gonna do next um She's probably going to take a quick break, and once we get back to it, we'll let you know what we're going to be doing next, so that way we can let you see what the end result's going to be on that. Um, again, you can, it's more than just seasoning on it, um, with that type of stuff, let me grab a pack real quick, we've got, uh, you can actually just use it for different things um you can throw a cup of milk mayonnaise in one of these packs with a cup of milk and a cup of mayonnaise and you can actually just make it into uh like a like a sour cream or something like that something something simple um again this is what we what we normally use as you can tell we got it at walmart they're real cheap um, I think they were like 50 cent a pack or 75 cent a pack or something like that. They were in the cheap zone. So again, budget. And being on a budget does really help on certain things. That gravy, again, 39 cent before tax on the brown gravy. It was real simple to make. It took maybe, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes to make. And it was, it was good and thick. Even with all of what we used. 
Again, two packs of these fit into a quarter jar, guys. Something simple. Again, what it is, how many, and the date. That way you know what it is. Um, we was hoping that we would have some extra garlic and herb packets kind of like this. They're same thing, they're seasonings. Um, Italian? Yep. Looks like some Italian packs. We've got like five jars left. So we're going to, she looks like she's probably going to do five jars of Italian seasoning. And we only got five left. Yeah. You're going to try to shove three in one? Or three in two? I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about some it. Italian chicken tomorrow. Oh, well. Five of these little guys left. Yeah. But other than that, guys, that's the ranch dressing there. So we might, uh, she might do some Italian, uh, same thing. It's, it's dressing. I mean, it's got the instruction to do the dressing on it. But we use it for spices and seasoning on, you know, on meat. Um, again, this is what she's going to be doing. And these little guys, and we, she's gonna use what she's got. I'm gonna leave one little baby jar left. Don't know what to do with that one little baby lonely guy. I figured it out. <laughs> oh, yeah. but she, it looks like she's gonna do that, and uh, we'll show you the end result of that when we come back. Until then, all right, everybody, welcome back. Here, this, right here, is this little guy right here. Italian, the Italian dressing mix, the recipe mix. It actually took three packs in this one this time. Three packs. There's not much in these little packs. It's not like the ranch pack where you can only get two, and it's almost to the tip top on that. That's three packs right there, guys. Almost looks like you can get a fourth one in there. But this is the only one that Mr. Robin Hood did. We really didn't have enough to do the rest of the jars with. So we're kind of, we're just going to save that one there and let that be it for that. Um, we got four, four jars for the uh, quarter pints remaining. Um, I think five of the half pints. We're still waiting on the quart jars to dry, which they should be here shortly, dried up. And then we'll get to the banana chips. Um, we're going to try to figure out, but we don't know quite yet. We might do some of the banana chips, maybe in the half pints, maybe, don't know. Maybe for just quick snacks or something. That's what I was thinking. Um, other than that, guys, I mean, this is it. There's, like I said, this is the ranch. Two packs of ranch. Same concept applies to the Italian. What it is, how many, and the date that it was done. We got seven ranch, one Italian. We got four left over. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and throw the jars back in there and figure out what to do with the last four of the uh, uh, quarter pints. Um, we're going to see how many banana chips we can get in these little half pints. Probably not very many because they're banana chips. I'm going to be eating. But we're going to experiment see how many we can get. Because I was wanting we're gonna try. It's kind of the reason why we bought them. We got some pasta salad sides. And according to the uh, instructions on the back of these, don't know how good they're gonna do. They're probably gonna be like the other one, the suddenly salad one. 
but we were going to try to do these but we don't quite know they were cheaper at a little bit cheaper at aldi at our local aldi that we have um it, it did they were i think about like 50 cent cheaper or something like that at our local aldi so it was it was well worth going to Aldi's and looking. Um, normally we get them at uh, uh, Walmart. We get the regular Betty Crocker, but they're kind of up there in price on the Betty Crocker. Again, we got them for like 50 cents cheaper than we would at Walmart. So we went ahead and bought uh, six of each. Um, we All we got was the ranch bacon and the classics on that um, again guys find out where your deals are find out where your cheap your cheapest food some sometimes you don't have to buy brand name stuff because the brand name stuff isn't as good as off brand off brand is better than the brain the name brand to be honest with you sometimes um, but looks like there's a Maybe a half a bag, maybe, in one jar, give or take. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and seal these up, figure out what... i got to wait for my sealer to dry. Well, yeah, she, and that's right. No, we're not going to seal them up just yet. <laughs> <laughs> we got to wait for the sealer to dry. See, see, I guess she got a little bit of powder in it, so she's got to wait for it to dry. And these aren't the wide now. It wouldn't quite fit in that. Be a little big. Um, but once we do that, we'll come back, guys. Once we seal them up, and we'll let you see what the end result is. Until then. Alright, guys. Potato chips are done. <coughs> and we're munching on them. That's the best. We do have a little bit left out of two bags. So me and Ms. Robin Hood are munching on some banana chips. But again, different concepts, slant but the same though. What it is, even though you kind of see what they are. And the date. We got five jars out of them. So that wasn't bad. Uh, that was to finish up the uh, pint jars. That was a half pint, I should say. We're going to stick these up here in the case that they come in. That way they're not, they don't get lost or anything like that. But, guys, um, I know eventually, sometime or another, eventually we, we will be breaking out our dehydrator to do some dehydrating. Um, we're going to try to do some rice, maybe cooked rice um the the regular long grain rice um let you guys see what that looks like uh of course dehydrating it takes time it takes a lot of time to do so uh, all in all um but we're gonna have to order some uh, mesh screens for our dehydrator so we can do rice um a bunch of other things that we're gonna try to do as well um it, uh, it's not going to be just dry goods that we're going to be doing. We're also going to be doing maybe some uh, liquid goods like uh, hamburger meat, um, you know, some type of beefs. Um, doing maybe, maybe, big, big maybe is on the uh, soups and stuff like that. Is our biggest thing, again for certain things again um, I can't stress this this little guy enough this guy right here will save your butt um, again you can buy them at Walmart online uh, again you can uh, from what I understand you can buy them on EBT if you get uh, EBT of course you know with EBT you don't have to pay taxes the, the sales tax and the food tax and stuff like that you don't have to pay, pay for that so 
as far as I understand, if you get if you get EBT, go ahead and you know work that in your EBT right there. Work one or two of them in if you have to. But on a budget, those guys right there will come in handy. Um, again, it'll be you know certain things that we will be having um, that we'll be putting on our videos. One of which is the dry goods. Because dry goods, uh, most of your dry goods, all you need is water. And you know, for some things like uh, yellow rice, and by the way, we did do yellow rice. It was worth it too. It was yellow rice. We didn't put how many is on there. We, I completely forget how many we got on there. I think it was three three packs of yellow rice, I do believe. But we put them in the smaller, regular mouth quart jars. Instructions are in there. Now with this, with the yellow rice, it's water and olive oil. So if you're doing yellow rice, you know, and you can you know, find you some olive oil, grab you some. Uh, don't take very much take like two tablespoons and that's it uh, like two cups of water or something like that per thing the biggest thing is is we have to figure out how many we put in there so we know how many to add because uh, you got to add per package um, but other than that guys uh, I'm not sure what Mrs. Robin Hood wants to do next uh, again we're waiting on our court jars to get done the big jars uh, I'm not sure what she wants to do with those. Probably the rest of the banana chips, more than likely. Um, but we're going to get some of those put in with some banana chips, maybe. And we'll be right back to show you what that looks like. Alright, guys. Welcome back. We did. We finally got the quart jars done. We did two different things here in a couple of quart jars. Just to see what they're like. One of them is Alfredo pasta and sauce. Both of these are from Walmart. One of them had that in it. We cut out the stovetop instructions. They do have microwave instructions on it. You can do that. The other one is chicken flavored pasta and sauce. Again, from Walmart. Same thing. We cut out the stovetop instructions at the top. That way we can. cook it when we need to again same same concept on, on all the others as well what it was how many and the date this was a chicken flavored one chicken flavored pasta and here's the alfredo and if you can't tell the instructions are right there same thing alfredo three pack how many is in it and the date something quick it's one of those just grab a jar clean up because all you, you just need butter some water and that's about it you probably don't even need butter <coughs> here i think it's an option mm -hmm. Ooh, robin hood see ain't that some of them in there pot style too yeah cut down. but we got two jars of those pretty much uh, got six packs in all together three and three three and three so six packs of alfredo six packs of chicken <coughs> looks like it's pot style spaghetti noodles guys is next Let's see how many we can get in a jar they're definitely fit that's for sure because they're already Pop style broke down. There you go. That's not gonna work. I see a bad deal coming. I do, there. I do, I see a bad <laughs> thing happening with that. So we're gonna slide these back in here. The rest of what little bit of banana chips are left. Put them back. Because it's not just, you know just certain things you can do in jars you can do quite a few different things in jars you don't have to do just that but 
dry goods is the best thing to do because with the stuff that's uh, already cooked up and stuff like that it's you get it takes longer to, to prepare and stuff like that to actually get it canned I mean it's not saying that you can't because you can there's plenty of it you can do out there plenty um, but the dry goods is the best because all you really need to do with dry goods is water that's really it and anything extra is normally just optional on that stuff so, but we're going to get this pot style spaghetti noodles done looks like it's a box per jar yeah because i don't want to overstuff it yeah makes it a little bit harder to get out so we're going to do this real quick get it sealed up get it ready to go don't want it sitting around we're taking we take what's in the box out of the box put it in jars for one number one longer storage life number two regardless of where you live you'll always end up getting mice somehow or another and mice love boxes they chew a small little hole in it and guess what what you just got is now gone so that's that's one of the main reasons why we take it out of the box and put it in uh, a jar even even these these types of packages even these types of packages don't they can chew through them and then you got <laughs> then you got right. ruined food gone food you lost a lot of product you lost a lot of storage um and then and now you got to replace it makes it a lot harder so now you got to do a lot of more different things so what we're going to do is we're going to seal these up guys and we'll show you what we got afterwards. Alright guys for the final little bit right here um, for the closing parts. Again spaghetti. Yeah it was just one box but you know one for one box of pot style. It is one pound for it. Uh, let's see here. It's eight servings and per container. So and it's two ounces. So trash can of it. Two jars of them guys, one box per jar, it makes it simple, easy, all you gotta do is just take it straight, open it straight up, pour it in the pot, there it is, pot style, one, one whole thing. We also did some graham crackers, uh, as you can tell there's quite a bit of graham crackers in that thing. So it's it's same concept guys, something simple, what it is, the date. Didn't put, you know, one box or you know, anything like that. We just you know, we did it's not like the chicken flavored stuff or the Alfredo jars where you put how many packs you have in it. And the graham crackers, there's no counting them. Just put them in there. Because when it's the last food or your last bit in your in your pantry and you've got some spare peanut butter when you're around or something, throw some peanut butter on them things. Make them really hearty, you know, make them good. The spaghetti, just put it in a pot and, and add different things to it. it. Makes it a little bit easier, makes it better. Um, we still got four quart jars left, guys. Don't really know, probably not going to be today. But we'll probably figure something out for them, put something in them. And in the meantime, guys. Uh, maybe you take a few little extra things from it. Again, the uh, the chicken flavor things we got from uh, Walmart. Same thing as Alfredo. You don't have to go for the brand name um, unless they're on sale. If you're a couponer, 
you find them on the coupons and they're on sale on the coupons go ahead and get them on the coupons there's no uh, limit to what you can dry goods seal period in the story there, there's no limit to it you just if you got dry goods in your pantry and you want them to last a lot longer do that um, other than that guys that's really it anything clothing wise guys uh, there's no big limit to what you can do as you can tell you know we you know we did graham crackers we did banana chips there's the fatty the fat marker been looking for that the other one was starting to mess up uh, there's, there's no limit to what you can and can't do on dry goods guys uh, some there is because it, it has a pouch to it or, or or something like that like the the what was it the suddenly salads and the pasta roni things and stuff like that the pasta salad stuff those are limited you can't but get one of those in because you got the pouch plus the air in the pouch and stuff like that um, you can, I'm not saying you can't do, you know, beans and stuff like that. That's what a lot of people do. We're, we're not the type to do that because not everybody likes beans. I'll put it that way. You can't it's, have beans. Well, not just that, just not everybody likes beans. And for, in my case, I can't have them. So. Uh, but, I mean, it's it's an endless thing on, on dry good stuff guys uh other than that it's you know you get if you got you know some spare noodles you know you got elbows or you got spaghetti noodles you know a box of spaghetti noodles break them things up if you know you're not going to eat them anytime soon and you're really not in the mood for spaghetti break them up make them pot size put them in a jar Put them in a jar. Get them in a jar. Get them out your pantry. You know, get them, you know, get everything condensed. And you take, you know, a lot of boxes and put them in, you know, in jars. We just took three packs of the chicken flavored stuff, which would take up a lot of space, and put them into one thing. Just cut out your instructions and put it at the top. That way you know what you need for, for, for cooking it. Um, other than that, guys... <laughs> So that's really it I mean that's all we could do for right now um, other than that closing thoughts are keep your pantry stocked again the 48 hour emergency food buckets again you can get them on EBT as far as I understand um, if you if you do get EBT go ahead and grab you one or two um, again they're about 20 bucks 20 21 bucks give or take uh, try to get you at least one they will save your butt in the long run um, even if you're on disability uh, if you're getting paid once a week bi-weekly or monthly you know grab you grab you a bucket here and there you know grab you at least one or you know one or two a month you know it doesn't have to be you know you can get one every payday or one you know if you're getting paid bi-weekly get one every payday if you get even if you're getting paid weekly from a job get one every payday because they're only about 20 20 21 22 bucks um, if you're getting paid uh, monthly you know get one or two a month that's it you know because you're on you're on you're on a limit you're on a budget so but in the end that 48 hour actually turn can you can actually turn that 48 hour to something else that's a just continuous eating on it the 48 hour buckets emergency food bucket it's just a, it's a continuous eat on it but if you're splitting it up you know and you're you know, you're having supper one time and you've got the rations out you're getting the rations and that's it you know you can take that 48 hours and turn it into a few you know more than just 48 hours you know what i mean 
especially if that's all you've got to eat. You don't have anything in between that meal, you know what I mean? But if you got other things in your pantry that you can cook and make up, stuff like that, because when I'm telling you, when it comes down, you've got to get smart, guys. You've got to start preparing for other events more than just, you know, the end of the world. You got other life catastrophes that come into play. You've got storms, you've got tornadoes, hurricanes, you know, power outages all around and stuff like that. You've got to be able to feed yourself more than non-perishable stuff, you know, more than just cookies, more than just crackers, you know, you got to be able to, like I said, you know, stay tuned on these, on, on our channel and I'll teach you how to make a rocket stove. Um, <coughs> something simple as a rocket stove can cook your food for you um you can do you know many different things for a fire you know you stay tuned again you'll be able to you know you will teach you how to make a fire on different things you know different tenders you know you got you know i'll, I'll show you different types of fire tenders you can use uh again guys get smart with your with your monies with if you get an EBT get smart with it you don't necessarily have to buy bulk in general all the time it's it's get smart buy enough to where you can jar and eat on at the same time every day eating but also to where you can jar that's the main thing okay guys um, in closing hit that like subscribe button below Hit your notifications button over here to the, well, in my case, it'll be to my left, your right. Um, hit that like, subscribe, notifications button. Put a comment down below if you want to. Questions, we, or we are happy to answer as best we can. Okay, guys? Don't be afraid to ask the questions. If you don't know, it doesn't hurt to ask. There is no such thing as a stupid question. Okay? Um... Again, stay tuned for more videos, and until we strike again, we will see you then.